<coughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good, and you? Fine, thank you. Okay. That's it. Hey, Eduardo, how are you? Good evening. I'm fine. And you? Okay, good. I'm okay. Waiting for the others to join. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, hello, Lucilla. How was the day? Good? Very good. Okay, that's correct. That's good, that's good. <clears throat> Let's see where we stopped yesterday. Here. Okay, so we have here. Okay, this is what we have today. We have, uh, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Okay, so in this moment, I will share with you the the video here. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation of the contractions in the negative forms, okay? And after you will read the sentence. Okay, here we go. Let me share the video sound. Okay. To sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Weren't. Don't. Weren't. Aren't. Analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. When expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions. <clears throat> on this chart aren't weren't don't can't two syllables okay this one if the it says one syllable is because you have to make only one sound when you say the word right for example you're going you're going to say aren't okay no aren't 
Okay, harm. Don't. Okay, don't. When. When. Can. Can. Only one. Okay, in this one, you will hear two syllables. Is then. Is then. Okay. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow. Okay. Again. Can't. Don't. Weren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They. <clears throat> okay. Now, Eduardo, can you read? Can you say these words? Okay. All of them. One syllable. All of them. Mm -hmm. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Continue. Yeah. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Alan? Aren't, don't, weren't, can, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Okay, weren't. 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 Okay, good. Osumar? Um, aren't, weren't, isn't, wasn't. Okay, aren't, weren't, weren't. Don't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank now, you. Uh, Max. Excuse me, me, Max. Max, yes. Okay, can you give me Weren't. Don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Didn't, okay. Veronica? Okay, aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, uh, wasn't, didn't. Didn't, okay, good. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how do you say di didn't or di didn't? Didn't. 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 Como mencionar una R suave. Didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes, Thank didn't. you. Okay. All right, uh, Santos. Aren't, weren't, down, can't. Isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't, okay? Try to pronounce the T at the end, right? It wasn't. Okay. Didn't. Was it? Okay. Rina. Yes, teacher. Okay, your turn now. Read the words. Aren't? Toda. Yes. Ah, las que están ahí. This one, uh -huh, this one, yes. Aren't, don't, weren't, can. Solo estas. This one. O las que están al lado también. This one, yes, this one too. Can, isn't, doesn't. What, doesn't? Es que tengo una pregunta, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? Doesn't o doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't? 
Así, doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, thank you. Okay, Nancy. I aren't, don't, weren't, Where? can, can, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Okay, Vladimir. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. All right, good. Uh, Grisela. Aren't, don't, weren't, didn't. Okay, good. Now, Valeria. Valeria. Warren. Mm -hmm. Warren. Uh, those. Can. Isn't. Doesn't. Wasn't. E. Didn't. Didn't. Okay. Don't. Didn't. Didn't. Okay. Don't. Didn't. Noemi. Aren't, don't, weren't, can, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. And Eliel. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay, good. And okay, who's moving? Claudia. Claudia Ramos. Can you hear me? Okay. Sara? Can you hear? Okay. Okay. Uh, aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, y didn't. Solo una cosa, teacher, porque no me, no me permitía conectarme. It's okay, no problem. Okay. Ahorita voy ingresando a la clase. Solo la, la pronuncia. Yes, you have to re read these words. They okay? are the negative. No? Okay. Well, she's having technical problems, Claudia. Okay. And when she comes back. Okay, guys. All right, now listen to, this is, for example, if you see the pronunciation of the constructions, right? Oh, it's better here. Okay, Esther? Okay. Aren't, John, weren't, can, isn't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Didn't. Okay. All right. Now listen to this phrase, to this sentence. They didn't eat okay. dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. He A quick here tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions. They can't swim. Okay, he wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the first sentence. One volunteer. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't angry. 
hungry. Okay. They didn't eat dinner because they were hungry. Good. Volunteer for the second sentence. Okay, it's Eduardo. Eduardo and then Veronica, number three. Okay. <laughs> number three, no? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. Okay, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Okay, very good. Veronica, number three. It's <laughs> very difficult. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> These aren't their sweet sweets. They can swim. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> see, this I, yeah, because you see the word swimsuits. Probably that's, but it's not difficult. Swimsuits. You say these are in their swimsuits. They can swim. Thank you, Ronica. Right. Volunteer for the number four. He you. wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, good. One more for the first one. Lena? They they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They weren't hungry. Okay, very good. So this is here. Okay. Another one for this one? Yep. Okay. Tell me. Santos. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Okay, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Tea. Okay, the next one? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, Max. Yes, Max. Mm -hmm. okay. They aren't they swim suit. They can swim. Okay, these aren't their swim suits. Okay, swim suits. Swim suits. They can swim. Okay, the last one here. He was in here. He wasn't here yesterday. yesterday. He is, he is Sunday. Okay, but later repeat. <laughs> he wasn't where yesterday, and he is. Ese cómo se dice? Isn't isn't where here today. Here 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 today. Here today. Okay. He wasn't here, here yesterday. Today. And he isn't, and here, he isn't today. here today. Mm -hmm. He wasn't here yesterday and he's in here today. So he's never there. Okay, one more, the last round, four more. Just for the first one, two, one. They, di they didn't eat uh -huh. dinner because yes, they mm -hmm. weren't hungry. Okay, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Good. The second? I, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Okay, I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Very good. Next one. These aren't the are... swimsuits. Mm -hmm. They can swim. Okay, they can swim. Repeat. This. This, this aren't the... These aren't they swim suit, they can swim. Okay, swim suit. Suit. Swim suit. Okay, suit. Not suit. Suit. Swim suit is in the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Swim suit. Uh -huh. The suit is the traje, right? Uh -huh. Suit is in the hotel. The suit. Okay. They here say swim suit. Okay, they're swim suits, they can't swim. Uh, okay, the last one. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. And he, he isn't here today. here today. Okay, good. Remember, okay, so they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't her swimsuits. They can swim. She wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Questions? Okay, remember again, this one, 
will sound like if you are saying only one word. Monosyllable, one syllable. Aren't. 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 Don't. Weren't. Weren't. No wedding. It weren't. Como que desaparece la E. Like weren't. Weren't. Don't. Can. Isn't. Isn't. Wasn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Didn't. Took. Didn't. Wasn't. Isn't. So these are two syllables and this is one syllable. Okay? Questions? Doubt? Uh -huh. Children. Children? No. No. Okay. No teach. Okay, if you want to practice, you can go to this link. Yang it practice haka. Only no. click. No. You can uh, click here, and then you have this link. Yes. Okay, then in here you can practice. Aquí lo pueden descargar y escuchar, right? Okay, then you don't have to. Then you can do the recording here. After you can listen, y luego pueden descargar. Negative contraction. Okay. One syllable. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllable. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't the swimsuit. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay, do you hear? And after that, if you want, you can download it and then you can practice more and more and more. Okay, so this is a nice tool that you have. Also, you need to, to have some extra practice. Teacher. Yes. Pero eh, ahí solamente es como que uno se grabe, pero no es que te corrige, ¿verdad? Te dice que está no, bueno no. o malo la pronunciación, ¿verdad? No, this is only for practice. This is only for solo practice. practice. Like, and after you can listen. Uh, remember that also sometimes we can hear. Because probably uh, sometimes we, we hear correctly, but probably because we are not uh, used to the articulation in the mouth, then we don't uh, probably, you know, we can correct ourselves. Okay? Por ejemplo, ustedes cuando oyen a alguien hablar inglés, dicen, ah, esa persona sabe hablar inglés. Porque le oyen el acento y el tono, right? ¿O no? Sí, sí. Yeah. Okay? Entonces lo mismo con ustedes. Si usted se oye ahí, va a decir, no, no se oye como... Eso uno mismo se oye que no está haciendo bien las cosas. Entonces es una forma de, de autocorregirse también. Y que es muy válido y, y, uno, y uno puede hacerle porque ese el oído lo tiene. Que si se oye cómo se puede hacer, pero a la hora de reproducirlo es, es otra historia. Por los puntos de articulación que nosotros no estamos acostumbrados a hacer mucho sonido eh, de consonantes. Nosotros somos más de sílabas. Que siempre vamos a una consonante vocal. Ok. Ser, mi, sa, me. Okay, and then uh, in English say allow me, allow. Only so you have a U por ahí. Y entonces, este, that's why, you know, there are more sounds. Los sonidos son diferentes. Que uno tiene que acostumbrarse a producir, a reproducir esos sonidos. Okay, so then, y por eso es que esas prácticas de oírse también son muy buenas. If you want to do it uh, here in this link, you can do it with your cell phone. In your cell phone, you can find a lot of uh, uh, applications, apps, and then you can record your voice and after you can listen. Yeah, and then you can say, no, yes, and then you can see that you are improving, right? It's a, that's a tip. 
Okay. Okay. Good. Now let's see the next one. What is the next one? Uh, let's see. Veronica, read this object okay. here. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer. WH question we did was and where additionally, additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. In a real life setting. Okay. Okay, now you will listen to this conversation and look at the structures. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past 
using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus the subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. When did you come to Los Angeles? And where? Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay. Any questions? For example, when are you going to use did and when you're going to use where? Okay, listen to this conversation again and pay attention to the question. Teacher. Yes, or send. Uh -huh. How do you say grab up? Grab, grab up? Grab up? How do you say? How do you say? Um, grow up. The grow first up. sentence? Grow, uh -huh, grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Oh, this one. Grow up. Grow. Grow. Grow, grow up. Grow up. Grow. Grow up. Grow up. Where did you grow up? Uh -huh. Thank then you. I grew up. Okay, so pay attention to questions when you see where did I was born or sentences. So you see I was, did, when, was. All well, this is in past tense. That I was, uh, did you become, uh, I need, I needed in past tense the money and I love it. Okay, now listen. Uh. Now, let's analyze how to... Two. And when did you come to... Position title. Where did you grow up? Let's listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I... Okay, see, where did you grow up? Okay, this is the question with did in past tense. And in the answer, you say, I grew up. Grew up. Grow up. Grew up. Grow up. Grew up. And you change the letter E. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Okay, I was born. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 19. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 90. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... well, um, okay. Uh, Eduardo and Noemi, can you yeah. read the conversation? Okay. Noemi, you are Melissa. Uh, but you can use, you can use your name, okay? No problem. You can say, so Eduardo, then you can say, uh, where did you grow up? And then, okay, go ahead. Elisa. Noemi, Noemi, uh, yes, you uh, to begin. Melissa, so Chuck, where do you grow, grow up? I grew up, I grew up in Texas. I was born there, there too. And when, and when did you come to Los Angeles? 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's... Y no sé cómo se pronuncia. Interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. Interesting? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, 
Okay, so so Chuck, where did you grow up? Pero, okay, excuse me. I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> perdón. I grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your ma uh, major? Major. 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 Uh, Mayor, drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That is in interesting. Interesting. So, who did you become a uh, art stylist? Because I needed the money and I loved it. Look, look. What do you think? Well, oh. um, well, um, okay. well, oh. <laughs> well, uh, but. well, uh, okay, good. <laughs> next one, <laughs> the next one will be Max, and we have here Alan. Okay, Max well, and I, Alan. I am Ama. Melissa Ocho. Eh, Alan. 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 Okay. okay. Me, Melissa, is okay? Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Alan, where do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went. Come on, what, what do you say? I went to 1990. 1990, huh? Uh, in 1990, 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what about your major? Sorry. Oh, what about your major? Drama. I was an actor from five years after college. Um, that's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, okay. say no more. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. 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 You see, that's <laughs> it is important the information, right? He said, because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, okay. All right. I accept it. <laughs> okay. I'm a of that. But, okay. <laughs> and they were along. Then, uh, Rina and Vladimir. Yes. I, I will be Melissa. Yes. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I, because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well... Uh, Oh. <laughs> <No sé. laughs> yo tengo una duda. ¿Qué es mayor o mayor? Mayor es como la, eh, let's say that when you started in the university, eh, ¿cuál es ah. la, especiali la especialidad? Ah, ah ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Sí, gracias. All right. Teacher, ¿y cuándo se va a utilizar para alcalde? Como mayor también es como alcalde, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Bueno. Cuando lo necesite aquí, porque el contexto no va para. 
say, what is your mayor? Who is, who, is the mayor who is the mayor of San Salvador? They say, they say, who is the mayor of San Salvador? No, I see English or something. I, I don't know. What is, who is the name? Uh, Mason, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. then you get who? Who is the mayor? Siempre acuérdense que cuando hay palabras con varios significados, el contexto en el que se usa. Ese es la guía, right? Mm -hmm. They say, who is the mayor in Santa Ana? Oh. Who is the mayor in San Diego? Who is the... Mayor in in, no, who's the mayor in in uh, what? In Sonsonate, right? Then you say the name of the person. Or mm -hmm. say, for example, what if you study in the in the university? What was your mayor? Okay, you say drama, for example, in my my mayor was teaching. You speak English, but no, especialidad enseñanza, right? Right. What is your mayor? Okay. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Max? Uh, uh, is, is correct to say my mayor is social work. Social work. Uh, we, uh -huh. we need, uh, but but the, the question is, in, for example, in an interview, I can say my mayor is social work or the, the word in, in Spanish, licenciatura, is included or not? Oh, because that's a bachelor degree. That's a bachelor degree. But licenciatura is like a bachelor, right? Bachelor. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, people. Two more. Eh, ya me perdieron que leo Walter. Ya leyeron. Sí, no? Teacher, okay. yo quiero que me ayuden en un ejercicio de la plataforma. Ok, which one? Por favor. Okay. Eh, 5.10. 5.10. Ok, uh, we'll see it after this exercise. Okay. Good. Then uh, we have uh, tomorrow we have uh, Walter and ¿Quién más a la lady? ¿A la lady? ¿Tatiana? ¿O Valeria? Okay, Walter and Valeria. Yo no he leído, teacher. Who? Tatiana? Yo, Tatiana, no he leído. Okay, go ahead. Walter and Tatiana. Okay. So, sure. Where did okay. you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born in Texas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hair stylist? Hair stylist, hair stylist. Because I needed, the, I, I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was, that was natural. That was natural. <laughs> okay, Valeria and Eliel. The last. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. You begin, Malaria. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did you come? Los Angeles. In 90... 1990. 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what is your ma ma major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. The insisting tongue is the juro. They call a 
Hairstylist. Hair Hairstylist. Hair Hairstylist. Because, be, because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? And um, oh, <laughs> well, uh, oh. where um, okay, good. Now, okay, Esther, you are Melissa. Okay, and quién me ha leído? ¿Quién más? La última. Vamos a hacer la última porque no nos alcanza para todos. Esther, okay. you must one volunteer. So, Sechak, Sechak, where did you grow up, up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Uh, and how did you come to Los Angeles? And when? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what's your major, major? What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? It's beautiful. Thing. Well, um... <laughs> well, it's nice. Well, it's, yeah. Okay, very good. Nice. <laughs> then the other one is remember, now we're going to practice questions using where did you grow up? But we said with the H, okay? And let me see here. Solo quiero ver acá. What was the question? Nancy, who was asking? Yes. Hello. Tengo problema en, en esa, pero en la tres. En la, yo tengo problema en la tres y en la cuatro. What is the problem? Que no me la agarra. Why not? Eh, la palabra cor... Unscramble the words to create a question. Uh -huh. sí. What is the question? ¿Qué pusieron? Um, where, where did uh -huh. where did you grow? Where did where did you grow? Up. Yes. 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 What was the other one? How how old were you in the year? Mm -hmm. How old? I see. How old? Were you? In, in the year? year? In the years. Two thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And this one? <laughs> And it's when did you, you when when did yo lo hice así mire teacher when did you to begin study english when Perfect. when did you uh -huh. study english begin to study begin begin, begin. study english to sí sí okay study English. Ah, no, teacher, yo lo escribí después del you, escribí el tú. Ah, ok. That's a, that's no, a, sé a, si, no sé si me, ahí me he confundido. Yes. Ah. That is, when did you? Ya vamos a volver al video y lo voy a explicar, que ahí, ahí explica cómo va la, la, la forma. But when did you begin to study? Aquí han puesto dos verbos. Begin, when did you begin? Uh -huh, sí. to study? Uh -huh. Okay. Tiene uh sentido -huh. que se han equivocado. When did you begin to study? Okay, the other one? Uh -huh. When were you born? Sí, eh, when, 
when you born you, where? Where when you were you born? born. Um, uh -huh. Question. Please. Okay. Huh. Sí, okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay, that's it. Where do you grow up? How old were you in the year 2000? When did you begin to study English? Begin to study. And where were you born? Or when were you born? Bueno, La cuatro teacher es cuando naciste. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. When were you born? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Sí, okay. No Gracias. problem. Any other question? No. Okay, vamos a ver los por algunos porqués ahí que tal vez no, no salen acá en la explicación. The following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. Okay. Okay. In this question, they only use one verb. Where did you where did you go? Okay, where did you go? Uh, let's say last week. Okay. What is your Well, where did you, yes, thank you. Where did you go? Where did you go last week? Okay, this is one bear only, okay, only one. But in the case that we have sometimes, you think sometimes you need to use two bear, for example, what, or when, when, let's say, when did you go to buy those Shoes. Okay. When did you go to buy those shoes? Then it's here, go. Okay, este did es para el pasado de go. Okay. And el to buy, oops, I'm going to take you. Okay, let me see. Where okay. where did you go to buy? Then we have those fish. Okay. Ya han oído hablar ustedes de la forma infinitiva de los verbos. ¿No? Son los verbos en su forma base. Ajá, forma que nunca cambia, digamos. Digamos que tiene, está la... Go. Es la forma base, the base form. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando cambia a tercera persona se dice go. Esa ya es, una, ya es conjugado, ya no es la base form. Pero está una forma que es la infinitiva. O sea, infinitive form. Sure. In English, que es to go. Que esta nunca cambia. Ok. No importa el tiempo en que usted lo use. Ok. How do you say this in English, in Spanish? This question? ¿No fuiste a comprar esos zapatos? Repeat, please. ¿Cuándo compraste esos zapatos? ¿Cuándo fuiste a comprar esos zapatos? ¿Cuándo fuiste? ¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo fuiste a comprar? 
¿Dónde uh -huh. fuiste a comprar? Right? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde? Perdón. Ok, no problem. Where do you go to buy those shoes? ¿Y acá? ¿Cuándo irás? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo vas a comprar tus zapatos? ¿Dónde vas a comprar ¿Dónde? tus zapatos? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde vas? Ah, ¿Dónde vas a comprar tus zapatos? Is, what tense is this? Present. Present. Ok, this is... Uh, this is present. Ok, wait. Well. This is present. And in the future, where will where will where where will you go, where will you go to buy those shoes? To buy to buy those that shoe. Uh-huh. Future. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ok, ¿qué es lo que ven acá en común y qué es lo que cambia? Ah, el D es para el pasado, el do para el presente y el will para el futuro. Ok, eso es uno. Ok, y el ya, go, ya, se repite. go to se repite. Ok, si ven el, ajá, el you porque estamos hablando de tú, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Set, right? Sí, go to. Go to buy. Luego. El Comprar verbo, nunca la, cambia. The place form. The place form. Ok. Ah, no, no puse a dar los míos. Y ya tenemos. Pero ahí hay esto, hay huevo. Ahora, para que lo veamos mejor aún. Pero okay. al final es mejor eso. Eh, vamos a darle uno menos. Bueno, pues luego de eso. Ok, yes. Sorry. Ok. Affirmative sentence. En afirmativo esto sería... I went. ¿Cuál cambió? El, el... Go. Go. Ok. I uh -huh. went. To buy. To buy. Vean, ese no cambia. Buy. Ajá, mm. to buy. Y aquí van unidos. To buy. Este es to buy. Fui a comprar. ¿Dónde fuiste? A comprar. Voy a comprar. Igual, well, it's like in Spanish, right? The similar is in Spanish. El ar, er, ir is the infinitive form in Spanish. Voy a comer, fui a comer, iré a comer. ¿Cuál es el que no cambia? Comer. Comer. Ajá, en este caso es Ajá. I went to eat. Ok, I, I eat, ok, I, go to, I, I went to eat, I go to eat, I will go to eat, ok, I go, voy a comer, fui a comer, iré a comer. Then, this is, eso es lo que vimos en el ejemplo ese que tenían en la, en el section 510, decía, when did you begin? To study English. Uh -huh. To study English. To study English. Uh -huh. yeah. Vean cómo lo voy cambiando las palabras y nos va quedando lo que teníamos aquí. Okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, when did you begin to study English? When did you begin to learn English? When do you begin to play soccer? When do you begin to walk? When do you begin to work? Uh -huh. When do you begin to work in that company? Or when did you start? Right? Se start begin or start. Okay? Pero eh, eso es cuando ya se usan dos verbos. Okay? Aquí mm -hmm. estamos usando uno. Where did you grow up? When did you come? And when did you become? Ok, mm -hmm. pero existe también esta forma. Mm -hmm. ¿Question? 
No. No problem. No. Okay. Well, we're going to stop here for today. Mañana vamos a hacer mucha práctica con todo esto porque ya sabes prácticamente las últimas clases y ya cubrimos mucho de los, de los topics. Okay, so tomorrow we have practice. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay everybody. So have a good night. Thanks. Good night, and good night everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night.